हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन माय चैनल जगदीश शौबे दिस हीट ट्रीटमेंट सीरीज टू पार्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट यू वन ऑफ द केस हार्डिंग प्रोसेस व्हिच इज कार्बराइजिंग सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इट कंटेंट सो कंटेंट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्लैशबैक प्रायर टू दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिलीज हीट ट्रीटमेंट सीरीज वन वेयर इन देर वर एट वीडियोज part 1 to 1 to part 5 on iron iron carbide diagram ttt curves cct curves microstructure basic heat treatment processes annealing normalizing hardening and tempering and part 6 to 8 was on concept of heat treatment particularly hardenability quenching and effect of alloying elements so all this from part 1 to part 8 i have covered in series 1 if you have not gone through this videos i request you to go through this because it contains lot of knowledge okay and in this current series that is heat treatment series 2 part 1 i have i've covered earlier which is introductory part and part 2 is what i am going to cover is on carburizing so what i am going to cover in this video is first of all input steel then types of carburizing solid carburizing processes advantages and disadvantages and the applications input is steel what is the steel required or what is the steel suitable for this particular process is a low carbon steel also mild steel or any steel having percentage carbon less than 0.25 even in this case low carbon low alloy steel can also be used for this carburizing process then types of carburizing there are three types of carburizing one is solid then liquid and then gas carburizing these are the three types of carburizing but i am going to cover in this video solid or pack carburizing okay so what is this process first of all in solid or pack carburizing first of all there is a steel box or cast iron box okay and it is covered with this lid okay and in between this carburizing compound of this particular composition wood charcoal 50 to 55% coke 30 to 32% sodium carbonate 2 to 3% barium carbonate 10 to 12% and calcium carbonate 3 to 4% since all these are in the solid form that is why this process is called solid carburizing and also pack carburizing because all these compounds are packed in a box so since they are packed in this particular box so it is also known as pack carburizing now after packing and everything this part is here in the center you see then this particular all the sides leads and other thing they are sealed with this refractive paste okay so that there is no incoming or outgoing of any air okay so it remains totally protected sealed okay now and this particular box is now this is kept in a furnace any type of furnace can be used even muffle furnace fan key also can be used and this is being heated from all the sides okay these are the heat waves which are shown here now in this process what is the cycle see this is a heat treatment cycle there is temperature here and this is time and this is the heating time you heat it reach up to that temperature this temperature is around 940 960 and then you keep it for longer time in the sense that whatever case depth you want for that particular time you have to soak it here after achieving this temperature then there are two processes one is that you directly quench from here okay and the other one is that you cool slowly here but then again you have to reheat it here and after reaching this temperature keep for some time and then again you have to quench it so these are the two different processes which are being used in this particular case okay the basic purpose is to achieve a high carbon content at the surface because when you go through this the carbon which is being supplied by this i'll just explain this reactions also nascent carbon it goes on to the surface and it penetrates and thereby it forms a iron carbide which is when it is heated here and it becomes austenitic and after quenching it it transform to martensite so these are the two microstructure i am showing here one is this left side is core 
and the other one is case the left side microstructure is same as the basic raw material which is low carbon steel that is why you are seeing here for light and ferrite structure but once the carbon penetrates on the surface it becomes a martensitic structure and you see this is a totally martensitic structure now about the reaction which is various reactions which are taking place in this particular uh, tri treatment is first of all since carbon charcoal is there carbon oxide is there its dioxide is there and then carbon it reacts with the charcoal carbon it forms two co this two carbon monoxide it breaks at higher temperature in co2 and nascent carbon this is the carbon which i was telling you which penetrates the surface okay and then the third reaction is this two co plus fe3 fe it forms iron carbide this is fe3c and then plus co2 again this co2 goes here reacts with carbon form two co side and so and so forth this reaction goes on okay and this barium carbonate also it also breaks into bao co2 now the function of this barium carbonate is basically as an energizer energizer means as a catalyst and catalyst you know that is basically which makes the reaction fast if it wants to be take uh, taken 4 hours maybe it can be 3 and 1/2 hours or so so that's why this barium carbonate is as a catalyst uh, compound okay so this reaction takes place fast that is the purpose of adding this barium carbonate and even other constituents also but the main role is barium carbonate the temperature i have explained earlier 940 960 this temperature also depends upon at the time of this what is the surface carbon content and what is your base carbon base is there which is a very low carbon it is a low carbon but in the higher range or in the lower range so depending upon the core okay this temperature also varies so this has to be decided when you go for that particular treatment okay now case death depending upon the holding time which you keep it holding at this particular temperature so you see if you want to have a case depth of 0.4 to 0.7 mm then you have to hold it for 4 and 5 for 4 and 5 hours then for 0.6 to 0.9 you have to hold for 5.5 to 6.5 hours for 0.8 to 1.2 it is 6.5 to 10 hours and the highest is 1.0 to 1.4 mm for that the holding time is 8 to 11.5 hours in general this particular carbonizing process solid carbonizing process is used generally for the higher case depth side from i think these are the two steps where this is generally used 0.8 to 1.4% okay general uses is there so this i explained you about the reaction about the how to achieve the particular case depth for a particular holding time okay and what are the different microstructure so let's move now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this process first of all it is low equipment cost there is not sophisticated instruments or equipment is required for this particular carbonizing treatment for low volume production it is recommended wherever there is a low volume production is required then it is very economical low volume in the sense like we generally we say tool room production on tool room basis this production is required five to six components are there or five to 10 components there for that you have to make different boxes and keep in the furnace so for low volume production it is highly economical but for higher volume production it is not economical can be done in any furnace you can use any furnace okay whatever is available to you even in muffle furnace also it can be done then less capital investment not much of a capital requirement is required because equipment cost is very less and furnaces also you can use any furnace so overall the total capital investment is very low it does not require any special controlled atmosphere no controlled atmosphere is required like reducing or oxidizing atmosphere because once it is sealed in the furnace there is no such effect okay then process is safe also okay it's quite safe because uh, this box it completely sealed there is no leakage and not much of electrical things are being used where you can say that there could be a danger anything so it is totally safe process then what are the disadvantages first of all it is very highly labor intensive highly labor intensive in the sense that if you have to do a uh, number of pieces then you have to make number of boxes also and again each time you have to after the finish of the heat treatment you have to 
empty the box again fill it with the carbonizing compound again keep it and heat it up to that temperature and again heat up to that particular temperature so this way this is quite labor intensive poor heat treat transfer efficiency because of carbon compound that acts as a high insulating agent thereby longer heating cycle in this case the temp heat transfer cycle is very high reason being this carbon is a uh, basically uh, it's not it's a very bad conductor of heat it doesn't passes heat thoroughly so that way it takes longer time since all these are filled with carbonaceous material so the heating is quite long so it takes a very long time in heating so heating cycle is very high okay then the third one is uniform case depth is difficult to control since the parts near the wall reaches carbonizing temperature much faster than the parts yes this is one of the thing because if you are using 5 to 10 parts and you, some of the parts are kept along the walls of that particular box and rest are in the middle so because it, they are kept along the wall so it gets heated fast as compared to the parts which are kept in the center and thereby as it is heated fast the carbon penetration is fast in case of edges or walls of that particular box but in the center the carbon penetration is quite slow so this gives you a non uniform case depth okay so it's not that way that it is very uniform it is a really a non uniform bus the only thing is that we want to have a higher case depth and then further you want to use it then it can be used so taking care of this these are the all disadvantages processes and these are all advantages in this particular process what are the applications they are used in aerospace and industrial parts such as gears wheels pinions rolls and rollers if you see it all these parts are of very low volume requirement okay so that is why it is very economical for these parts and these parts are being carburized with this solid pack carburizing and heavy duty rolling mills that also rolling mills are also there then crane cable drums crane cable drum drums which are on which this cable runs is also uh, heat treated with this particular uh, solid carburizing then high pressure crane wheels are also there kill tunian rollers all these things are heat treated with this solid or pack carburizing then tool room heavy tools such as in, in case of tool room applications rock drill bit tools are being used automotive gear and shaft for automotive application also gear and shaft the only thing is the volume should be low not applicable for low case depth yes this i have explained earlier that for low case depth it is not uh, very beneficial you should go for only a higher case depth required maybe 0.8 to 1.4 mm then suitable for heavy and large parts with high case depth requirement that's all i have explained it improves wear resistance corrosion resistance fatigue resistance impact resistance of the part this is one of the application wherever you want this type of application you should go for because it improves first of all corrosion resistance wear resistance how this wear resistance because of the high surface hardness and impact because of the soft core so all these things they lead to a good wear resistance and good impact resistance combined with corrosion resistance and fatigue resistance so wherever these requirements are there you can go for solid or pack carburizing so this is all about uh, solid or pack carburizing in this i have explained you about the various carburizing process like solid liquid and gas then i have explained you about the what, how this process takes place what are the various reaction what are the holding time to achieve a different case depth and then advantages and disadvantages of this process and finally it was on the application so i hope uh, this will be a good guiding factor for you wherever you want some help you can go through this video okay and the next video is basically on heat treatment series 2 it is part 3 that is on liquid carburizing in this video i have covered solid or pack carburizing and the next coming video will be on liquid carburizing so go through this video go thoroughly go through the end not in between if you leave in between you will not learn anything 
and particularly for those persons who are working in heat treatment soft metallurgical industries and all that this video may be very useful so if you like this video kindly like my video and give your comments also if you want even you can write on my gmail id also which i have already given in the description box and if you go to my channel then please subscribe it because it gives me lot of energy to, for making other videos also for your purpose and please go through all series heat treatment series 1 heat treatment series 2 and thank so i thank you for your patience listening please wait for my next part which is on liquid carburizing heat treatment series 2 part 3 on liquid carburizing thanks thank you again